How's it going everybody? Wes Davies here. I'm here in the bustling new restaurant here in Kaohsiung, right by Love River. It's actually not a new restaurant, but they've recently renovated the second floor here and it looks absolutely amazing. Before you had to kind of sit on the street and although the food was delicious, in the wintertime it was cold, in the summertime there were mosquitoes. So now they've just opened up the second floor here at Hotbox. And as you can see, this barbecue platter looks absolutely amazing. So if you can't tell by now, this is an American barbecue restaurant. I never thought that I would be able to come here to Kaohsiung, actually not too far from where I live, and have absolute, authentic, Texan American barbecue food. We've got everything from macaroni and cheese, smoked brisket, pulled pork, this absolutely delicious spicy beef rice, and a whole assortment of accoutrements. And this platter is for two people. I'm here with my girlfriend. The whole thing is, I would say, a very, very good price. 788 NT, and you are both going to be very, very satisfied. And we've come here with some Mary Sharp's hot sauce, which I will mention to you a little bit later, but I cannot wait. I'm absolutely going to dig into this absolutely picture perfect, beautiful looking barbecue platter here. And as far as I know, this is one of the few places in Southern Taiwan that you can get this kind of food. By the way, the music is loud. There's a kind of a party atmosphere in here. So if you are YouTube listening to this and you hear that music, Please don't demonetize me. I'm doing the best I can. So let's get into this meal here. I have to go for the, the barbecue brisket. It just looks too good to be true. Just look how good that looks. Nice little layer of fat. The peppercorns on the outside and the meat is just perfectly cooked there. Let's give that a bite. Wow, that brisket is so good. The meat is just tender. Look at that. It's, it's smooth, it's smoky. I love the layer of peppercorns on the outside. It gives it a nice sharp peppery taste. That is a real, real winner right there. All right, next up we have something called barbacoa. I would say it's like a pulled beef, similar to a pulled pork maybe, but this one I think is more smoky. Let's give that a try. Hmm. That is absolutely to die for. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> My poor girlfriend is sitting off to the side waiting for me to finish filming. She's being a real trooper here. It's good, right? Really good. Ooh, it's got like a, almost a Mexican, spicy Mexican taste, I would say. You just won't find that food anywhere else in Kaohsiung. That is super delicious. And that cilantro gives it a little bit of freshness. And might as well do the barbacoa rice. So this is rice, which has been infused with that beef barbacoa flavor. I have had this before and look at each individual piece of rice just falling off my fork. I wanna try that immediately. Mm. And you've probably seen this in my video before or on my Instagram, at West of the Sun. So I don't go anywhere without bringing my Mary Sharp's hot sauce along. This one today is the original garlic flavor. And from what I can tell, a barbecue platter like this isn't complete without macaroni and cheese. I've never had real American barbecue. I'm Canadian. But whenever I see videos of it on YouTube, they're always eating macaroni and cheese along with it. So I have put a little bit of the uh, Mary Sharp's garlic hot sauce on there. And that is a match made in heaven. Mm. I love these long strips of macaroni. Perfect American cheddar cheese flavor. Kind of a nice creamy addition to this otherwise kind of meat heavy plate. That is really, really nice. So it's time for the pulled pork, a barbecue American classic. And I should mention they smoke everything right here in-house. So downstairs they've got a very nice kitchen set up and then they have this massive, almost like walk-in freezer type of a smoker. So you can see just layers and layers of meat and pork and brisket just getting perfectly smoked right here in-house. Here is the smoked pork. Mm. Really nice and sweet with that barbecue sauce. I would say on top is almost like a honey mustard. That is really, really delicious. You can definitely mix and match. So take a little bit of the pulled pork, a little bit of the macaroni and cheese, and maybe some coleslaw, and you have a delicious looking bite there. Mm. Thank you. My trusty partner in crime here. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to keep you guys too long because, quite frankly, I want to really dig in and enjoy this meal here. And I know my girlfriend has been waiting patiently as well. 
Yeah, they do have green options. So I believe this is a mountain fern, and he, he really recommended this one. Oh. Oh, yeah. What is that? That is really delicious. There's something really smoky about that. So somehow they've infused a smoky flavor into the otherwise regular mountain vegetable. That's delicious. And at any time, if things get overwhelming, uh, this is this comes complimentary with the meal, which is a nice big helping of shredded cabbage with some vinegar. Got your classic French fries, and you've got some pickled onions as well. All right, and last but not least, another American classic. We have baked beans with a little bit of sour cream there in the corner. That will just probably be a refreshing change from some of the more heavier meats. Mm. Everything. I honestly have to say, everything is so, so tasty. And I love the variety on a platter like this. I can't believe that I'm sitting right beside Love River in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, having what I can only describe as a super top-notch, authentic American barbecue meal. This is, this is so good to me. And the staff are so friendly. As soon as you come in, they welcome you, they say hello. He helped us out with the ordering. He recommended a few things. And by the way, this is not all they have. There are tons of different things on the menu depending on what you're interested in. So if you're in Kaohsiung, you have to come down here to the Hot Box Barbecue Restaurant. And just wanna say thank you to Mary Sharp because no matter where we go, we absolutely love these hot sauce. And I'll put the link down below if you wanna order some as well. They have all kinds of different flavors. I will put all the information right down below. Hotbox location, and you can go check them out on Instagram as well, which I will include. But for now, I'm just going to do what I came here to do, which is enjoy some absolutely fantastic food. Dude, that was so awesome. So how long have you guys been in business? Uh, Hotbox probably, probably running for four years now. Four years. Yeah, this is the fourth years. Because last time I came here, the whole second floor wasn't here. Yeah, we was only doing takeaways on downstairs because okay. since the pandemic and kind of short on budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But everything looks great and tastes amazing. Did you learn Thank how to you. cook this food? Uh, yeah, I actually learned from my, my pa. So what would you recommend people try when they come here to Hotbox? Uh, the brisket, definitely. The brisket, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the pork pork sandwich is my favorite sandwich. Mm -hmm. And the other hand, I'll say, we keep changing our menu quite frequently, like half a year time. And we always do some different theme, like for this menu now, we try to blend in some uh, Taiwanese tradition ingredients, and also like got more rice dishes. Yeah, and yeah, those limited specials are totally worth to try it. And I'm sure you get a lot of Taiwanese people coming here yeah. who this is the first time they've ever tried yeah. this kind of food. Yeah. So how do they usually like it? Uh, yeah, I think they do, yeah. yeah. Well, nice to meet you, Leon. Nice to meet you too. And we love coming here as often as we can. So if you're in Kaohsiung, make sure you pop by, come visit Leon and check out Hotbox. The food is absolutely amazing. Thanks. Cheers, man. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video as always. So take care, have a good night, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.